Hey Ryan, this is Steven from CMP Auto here in Calgary. And this right here is our 2017 Ram 1500 Laramie. First things first, I wanna thank you for your interest in this unit. This is a very nice looking truck. It's finished in Red Pearl. It is a Laramie. It's an Eco Diesel Crew Cab with the five foot seven box. Now what I'll do in this video, I'll give you a brief walk around tour. I'll go over some key features. Any faults that I see in the truck, I'll also point those out as well. But truth be told, first impressions on this truck, it's in tremendous shape considering the year. And uh, yeah, it's pretty sharp. So let's get started. Now up front, you have LED uh, daytime running lamps and turn signals. You have HID projector headlamps. Down below, you have halogen fog lamps. You have recovery hooks down the front bumper, chrome grille, hood visor above that. And under the hood, you have a three liter uh, turbo diesel V6 called the Eagle Diesel. That's matted to an eight speed automatic. And of course, this truck is a four x four. Now, around the sides, you have uh, 20 inch wheels. These are the factory wheels. Uh, they're wrapped in Bridgestone, light terrain, Lizak winter tires. So top tier winter tires already installed on this. And I think that's telling about the previous owner um, that he spent extra money to get top tier winter tires. Above those, you have fender flares. And talking about this paint, it's a nice metallic flake, pretty sharp. You have chrome plated side mirrors with integrated turn signals. These uh, mirrors are power folding. They have convex right there. They're auto dimming and they are also heated. Now you have fog or sorry, you have uh, mud flaps front and rear. You also have running boards. And as I mentioned, this is a crew cab, the biggest configuration of a cab in a half ton. Door handles, at least on the front, you have keyless proximity entry. This means you can keep your key in your pocket at all times when you combine this with push button start. Basically, you walk up to the vehicle. If you have the key on you, you can press this button to unlock it or press this button to lock it. Or sorry, there's a sensor on the inside of the door handle to unlock it. There you go, but lock it, unlock it. I'll get a little bit more into the interior in a moment, but let's go out back. So you have the rails, you have a three prong, or sorry, you have a uh, uh, tri-fold hard tunnel cover, black, sorry, backflip G2. That's uh, probably the best on the market. You have a power siding rear window with auto defrost in the back as well. Down below, you have dual exhaust, class four hitch receiver, your four and seven pin harnesses, backup sensors, and a backup camera. Opening up the bed, you already have spray and box liner in here and you have LED lighting as well. Tail lights themselves are gonna be LED as well as the reverse lights. Now getting into the back seat, we're gonna have perforated black leather. This is a 60-40 split bench, folds up, revealing well, two things. Number one, storage underneath here, but you're probably wondering what this is. This creates, if you fold it out, a flat floor. And what I mean by that, typically, or not typically, but you do have a driveline hump here, so a little hump. So it's not a flat floor. So let's say you had, you had to sleep back here, or you had a dog, or maybe a toolbox. It wouldn't lay flat. But when you fold this out, and you do the same on the other side, now you have a flat floor, and it can it can hold weight very well, very well. In the center, you have an armrest with integrated cup holders. These seats are heated. You also have a 12 volt DC plug located right there. You have rear AC vents, cup holders down below. Other side, which I'll show you, contains your Alpine subwoofer. Above your head, you're gonna have uh, your dome lights, you're gonna have speakers. Again, that's part of the Alpine audio system. And let's go ahead and take a look at the front seat. So again, you have perforated black leather. This is heated, cooled, and it has the memory function as well. And power operated with power lumbar support. Uh, getting to the door panel, you have nice wood grain also on the back, chrome and leather stitched as well. Nice Ram logo there. Power windows, door locks, and mirrors. Power folding mirrors, as I mentioned. 
that's hot behind the wheel. First things first, mileage at the time of this video, 72.5, very low. The steering wheel is heated, which is nice on a day like today. Um, you have power pedals. You have a tilt and telescoping wheel. You have a nice digital cluster or digital display within the cluster, which displays quite a bit of information from a digital um, speedometer, um, your tire pressure, your auxiliary temperatures, so transmission temperature, oil life, battery voltage. Nice little summary right there. Um, to the left of that, you're gonna have your automatic lights with your fog lamps as well, your puddle lamps, which are located on the mirrors and in your dimmer switch right there. To the right of that, let me zoom out. Again, you have nice wood trim, silver and chrome as well. You have an 8.4 inch screen using the Uconnect uh, software. What that means, it's fully touchscreen. You have integrated Sirius XM radio, Bluetooth, your heated and cooled seats, backup camera, which can be used at any point. It also has guidance lines that turn with the wheel that really help out with parking. It's very customizable, so you can set up your shortcuts at the bottom. You have digital controls for your HVAC controls, but of course you have physical controls down below. So whether you choose to control it that way or simply slide your finger, whatever you prefer. You also have integrated navigation, volume knob, tune knob, and all of that. This is gonna be your shifter. It's uh, again, an eight speed automatic. When you put it in reverse, of course, the backup camera comes up. Below that, you're gonna have uh, your four wheel drive selector. So in addition to your standard things like four wheel drive lock, four wheel drive low, and two wheel drive, you have four wheel drive auto, kind of a set it and forget it all wheel drive system, which really comes in handy. You don't have to fiddle around with it, just set it and forget it and you're good. And this button right here in the center, that little pinhole, that is for flat towing. So it disengages the drivetrain and allows to be allows this vehicle to be pulled behind an RV, for instance. Uh, you have push button start, as I mentioned. You have a trailer brake controller already integrated to the dash, tow and haul mode. You have your parking sensors, which are defeatable. You have physical controls for your heated seats, your cooled seats, your heated steering wheel, all there. But again, also integrated into the dash. A little spot for your phone here as well to stand them up. Cup holders there. That opens up, revealing, whoops, revealing a USB-A auxiliary and another 12 volt plug. Coin holders there, or if you don't open up the whole thing, nice deep storage compartments. You have a nice pocket right here, three prong household plug, dual glove boxes, one there, one there with the original owner's manual. Above my head, I have a home link garage door opener. I have my uh, controller for the rear sliding window, my dome lights, and then of course my sunroof controls because this is equipped with a power sunroof. There's a lot more to go, uh, a lot more to explain on this vehicle, but I think that sums it up. Of course, behind the steering wheel, you have audio controls, you have your cruise control, your Bluetooth, all that. But I think, yeah, that pretty much sums it up. I Let's do another walk around, look for any flaws. Of course, being at 2017, I don't anticipate it being perfect, but again, for the age, I don't see any major flaws, dents, scratches, anything like that. I don't see any rust. Of course, it's a little dirty, of course, and it will get detailed. It's got some snow on it as well, but overall, it's in very good shape. I don't see any door dings, no hail. Windshield's in good shape, which is amazing out here in Alberta. It's a clean truck. No dents on the tailgate, I can see. Nope. Little chip right there and there, that could be touched up of course.
that, nothing, nothing really stands out to me. This is in great shape. Anyway, we'll continue this conversation. Thanks for watching. Take care.